Decoding Audio, PCM versus Dolby Digital. Hello there. In today's video, we'll be talking about audio formats, more specifically, the difference between PCM, pulse code modulation, and Dolby Digital. Both formats are commonly used in our daily life, from watching TV to enjoying a movie at the theater. Yet, do you ever wonder how they differ from each other? Let's dive right into it. What is PCM? PCM, short for Pulse Code Modulation, is a type of digital audio format. It is essentially a method used to convert analog audio signals into digital data. The most common example of PCM is the audio CD. A PCM signal is uncompressed, meaning it delivers a very accurate reproduction of the original audio signal. However, this also means the files are quite large in size. PCM can handle various channels and configurations, but the number of channels is typically limited to two for stereo sound. What is Dolby Digital? Now, let's talk about Dolby Digital. It is a digital audio compression format developed by Dolby Laboratories. Unlike PCM, Dolby Digital uses lossy compression, meaning it removes some data to reduce the size of the files. Dolby Digital is a standard audio format for DVD, Blu-ray, and most streaming platforms. It supports up to six channels of audio, 5.1 surround sound. This multi-channel support makes it the preferred format for home theater systems. PCM versus Dolby Digital, how do they differ? So, you might be wondering, how do PCM and Dolby Digital really differ? One. Uncompressed versus compressed. PCM is an uncompressed audio format, which means it provides high quality sound but with larger file sizes. Dolby Digital, on the other hand, is a compressed format, reducing file size at the cost of some audio quality. Two, number of channels. PCM typically supports two channels for stereo sound, while Dolby Digital supports multi-channel audio up to 5.1 surround sound. Three, applications. PCM is commonly used for CDs and stereo broadcasts, while Dolby Digital is standard for DVDs, Blu-rays, and most streaming platforms due to its ability to handle multi-channel audio. In conclusion, both PCM and Dolby Digital have their strengths and uses depending on the audio requirements. PCM's main strength lies in its sound quality, making it suitable for high-fidelity audio. On the other hand, Dolby Digital's strength is its multi-channel support and smaller file size, making it a popular choice for home theater systems and streaming services. We hope this video helped you understand the key differences between PCM and Dolby Digital. Thanks for watching.